Hello, I'm Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I've been doing tutorials for a couple years now as a part of our main channel, Tech Dive, a channel for computer enthusiasts and tech reviews. Now, the new AV channel will be home to all future tutorials and production related videos, so be sure to subscribe. Today, we are looking at Vegas Pro 16 as a three part video series. This video will cover what Vegas Pro 16 is as a whole, the next video will cover what the changes are from 15, and the final of the set will be a getting started tutorial. We already have a host of tutorials from both Movie Studios and Vegas Pro, so be sure to check out those too. You can find them in a playlist on our channel page. These tutorials will be applicable to Vegas 16 as well. We're about to do a rundown of everything Vegas can do in a short amount of time. For more context, please visit my tutorials, and I try to explain some editing theory behind each tool too as I show you how to use it in the tutorials. Vegas 16 is robust yet easy to use. I've spent my entire time in video school arguing how it was the best software and it's only getting better through the years. Vegas is designed for what's called in-timeline editing. In-timeline editing is where you manipulate the video's final form directly in the timeline. So this is the timeline, and this is where you will spend the majority of your time in Vegas. Here on the timeline, you can manipulate clips by simple drags and clicks. You can layer video by adding more tracks. This works for video and audio, and you can make as many tracks as you'd like. You can create fades by grabbing the corners, and you can trim clips by grabbing the sides. Sliding clips together lets you create transitions, and hitting S on your keyboard lets you cut. While holding control, you can also slow down and speed up each clip. Another very notable feature is the auto ripple, where you can make your edit ripple throughout the entire project, saving time when you retouch an edit without having to retouch every edit behind it. All the timeline tools are right underneath. I will go into this with a lot more depth in my getting started tutorial. The top left windows are a set of tabs that let you access different tools. You can use Explorer to search for different files and windows. Project media is where you import clips, audio, and pictures where you can use them infinitely to create your project. The FX tab is where you can add video effects, which include color corrections, masking, chroma key, aka green screen, sharpening, stabilization, time code, and much, much more. 16 has the most robust set of effects yet. Audio has lots of effects as well, but we'll be getting in how to add those effects in a second. You can add effects right to each clip, or on each individual track, or both. If the effect is on the track, it will affect every clip in that track. And if you want to get fancy, you can set up more complex composites with the optional alpha and beta channels within the track. And you can set up automations. Audio tracks are similar, and you only need to right click an audio clip or select the FX option in the audio track to add an effect. These effects range from corrective effects to modulation effects. You can even record audio from a mic or another source right to the track. You can mix your audio right on the timeline, and there's even a helpful layout for audio mixing that you can use if you so choose. Transitions is your next tab. You can create transitions right on the timeline that fade, but simply dragging a special transition from this tab to your fade will create a fancier transition. Each transition effect is customizable. Media generators include text, animated text, scrolling credits, empty cards, color backgrounds, and more. You'll need something from this tab for nearly every project. Just drag your media you need right onto the timeline. Everything is fully customizable. Vegas will pull all of its fonts from your installed fonts and windows. As you can guess, you can view your projects here in the preview window. The alternative tab will let you view and trim individual clips, which is handy for long takes that need many individual clips pulled out of it. You can decompose your footage with a simple drop down menu, which helps if you don't have a lot of power on your PC or are layering lots of effects. Unlike other video editors, Vegas shows your effects and transitions as you add them with only limited needs to pre-render. There are also other helpful tools which you can toggle to help you get the best out of your project. Vegas Pro 16 can tap into your computer graphics processing and help editing go smoother. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU or an Intel Accelerated Graphics, you can render your final project faster using these graphic accelerations. You can still use the graphics acceleration with AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. However, only NVIDIA and Intel graphics can utilize the extra fast final render options. The standard CPU rendering is the standard speed for any video editor. 
Vegas, especially Vegas Pro 16, has an army of rendering options to achieve the exact package your video needs. It includes major camera brands and proprietary formats. Vegas 16 also lets you edit with most file types and video codecs as well. Other editors might only let you work with a special format, but Vegas adapts to whatever media you are using. If you are professional, you will be happy to know that your days of setting drop frame versus non-drop frame timelines are behind you. Vegas handles all of that for you. Don't forget, Vegas lets you utilize a host of customizable features, and you can choose what drives hold what, how much RAM you want to allocate to your preview window, audio preferences, and tons more. This helps you get the most out of your PC's performance abilities. I also have several tutorials on these options as well, but don't mess with them willy-nilly though. The Pro features include better color mapping for different types of camera color processing, more codecs, automation, 3D, 360 video editing, multi-camera editing, unlimited tracks, and more. 16 specifically added native image stabilization, built-in motion tracking, workflow for creating 360 video, story mode, HDR support, advanced backup options, advanced audio effects options. The consumer version of Vegas Movie Studio might not have full use of all of these options, but it's worth a look if Pro is out of your price range. I really believe Vegas Pro is a must-have for any solo video producer of any small team, since you can do video editing and correction and audio editing and correction in the same platform. It even allows you to export to other editors if you prefer a multi-program workflow. It's easy to use, so every project moves quickly. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I highly encourage you to check out my video, Vegas Pro 16, What's Changed from 15. If you want to purchase this software, please consider buying it through our link in the description below, which will help out TechDive as a channel. I'll be pumping out more Movie Studio and Pro tutorials, and I'll specify whether something works with most versions or if it will need to be the latest. If you are interested in computer building or tech reviews or camera reviews, check out our main channel, TechDive. I'll be editing TechDive reviews in the majority of our tutorials. Also, keep your eyes peeled for production tutorials such as how to use a mic and frame shots and make green screens. All of these tutorials will feed into the editing projects as well. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more, comment if you have an idea for a tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.